In this video, I'm going to show you how to get started with the new conversational scenarios. So if you go down to one of these new conversational scenarios, um, it will also be up on the top that you can uh, navigate to. But if you go to one of these conversational scenarios, you can see the different types of poses that these uh, PowerPoint files are in. Um, so if you like a certain pose, if you like a certain conversation, all you have to do is select that, um, that certain conversation and click on download to download the PowerPoint file. Um, let me go ahead and choose one, for example, this copy room scenario. And I'm going to go ahead and download this PPTX if you have uh, anything um, 2010 and above, or if you have anything below that, you can download the PPT, and that will download the PPT file. Now, these PowerPoint files allow you to edit them, the poses, the peoples. Uh, you can add audio, whatever you want, right inside of PowerPoint itself or you can actually import it into a PowerPoint converter. So if you have something like a, um, Articulate Presenter, you can open it up inside of PowerPoint and use it for your Articulate Presenter files. Or if you have iSpring, you can uh, import these into iSpring and use these uh, conversational pieces inside of your uh, iSpring courses. So let me go ahead and open this up first of all inside of uh, PowerPoint. And let's go ahead and review these. So you notice the basic idea, idea of these conversational scenarios is you're having a discussion or there's a discussion between two different people in different situations. So you can see we have an angle of uh, somebody, just one person on the opposite side of that angle is the other person that they're talking to. We have another picture of them talking to each other, both uh, forward and backwards there. Uh, one of them's behind the table or whatever content it is. Um, and then we have the opposite flip side. So you can add your own audio of them talking back and forth on these different slides. Uh, a little closer up over the shoulder shot as well as over the shoulder shot uh, for the other person. And then a shot of them just thinking, a shot of each person just thinking, and then a shot profile of them still talking as well. Now I can come in here and I can duplicate any slide that I want. <clears throat> so if I decide I want another picture of this person um, spread throughout, I can just right click and click on duplicate slide and move that anywhere throughout my PowerPoint. There is no audio attached to this by default. That is what you would have to add inside of uh, any other tool uh, that you may have or even inside of, um, inside of PowerPoint. So if I open up Presenter, for example, let me come on my Mac side, open up Presenter, which is PowerPoint. I can open this up inside here. So I'm going to click on Continue Free Trial here. I'm going to go ahead and click on Open. Go to uh, my desktop. Open up that uh, PowerPoint. And you can see I can make all those changes that I was talking about before uh, inside of here. However, inside of Articulate, the Articulate tab, the Presenter tab, it allows me to insert also video. It allows me to insert or record narration for each of them. So if I wanted to record narration for a certain person, I can come here and click on Record Narration and insert my audio that way and uh, use it right inside of uh, in Presenter. So however I wanted to, if I hit Start Recording uh, and then hit Save, that will record my audio inside of uh, inside a presenter. Let me just hit save and close. Takes me back here and my audio will be there. So that's how you use and then you can just publish that out, view it inside of the player, hit publish to uh, publish out the entire course from presenter. Uh, and you can do the same thing with iSpring or with rapid intake or whatever tool you may be using. Um, you can take these uh, conversational PowerPoints and import them into whatever PowerPoint converter you have. But here's my player, my slide, my conversational pieces will display within this area. Um, I can click on preview to preview that and then hit publish to publish it as well. And this will allow you to use different conversations in different rooms. So let's go back to the library. Um, so I can see coming back into this library, I have different copy rooms, lobbies, offices, and uh, outside areas. And additional more will come as well that you can use to build these types of conversations.